Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Seshni, Dr. Seshni Gurika Mudia Rensberg, and this series of the online CASC exam versus the face to face CASC exams, I have been discussing the differences and how to adapt to the new face to face exam. So, in this video, what I want to discuss is about your belongings. So, I briefly mentioned in one of the videos about being taken into a separate room. So I'm giving you information which I obviously went through in my exam. So it might change or it might be the same, but so I think if you have a better understanding, it anyway will still help you um, because I have had requests from so many people regarding the face-to-face. -face. A lot of people are a bit um, concerned, lots don't know what to expect. So I thought by just explaining all the key areas and the key components of the exam i think it will help you to prepare for the day so that you can be successful so in terms of your belongings i know i have been asked about what do i take to the exam center and where would i put my belongings will my belongings be safe am i allowed to take my books and um, yes 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 to all the questions so do check the college website. I would suggest first thing is obviously check with the college, check all the correspondence that you've received in emails and through the post about what you are allowed in the exam because you don't want to go to an exam and be disqualified because you've taken something that you shouldn't or, you know, reasons people get. Obviously, um, that can occur. So first things is check with the college. Just find out exactly what you're allowed to take. In terms of your belongings, you will usually, you should be taken into a room where you would be leaving your phone together with your handbag or your bag and your books, if you're taking any books um, and water bottles or, you know, whatever else you want to take, snacks, whatever else is in your bag, you know, that's your personal bag. So um, I would suggest that, you know, obviously take your bags, take your belongings that you want to take you know, things that you need that are essential and that you only keep in your bag. And when you get to the exam center, when you're in that room, you can leave it there. Your phone will obviously be switched off because that is the exam regulations. And once you finish your exams, you'll go back to the room and wait to get your belongings. They may have changed it. They may change it to, you know, maybe getting a, a locker or certain cubicles, or um, they might obviously give different regulations. But according to the exam, when I went um, to Sheffield, and did the face-to-face -face exam, that's what was um, the process. So um, this is obviously a key difference because online exam, you know, your belongings are with you, but with the face-to-face um, -face exam, you will need to think about what you're taking. So, you know, in your bag, make sure you have obviously your phone, money, keys, whatever important things that you do need to have. And, um, and then obviously it will all be safe um, in the college, um, you know, the room where they've allocated belongings to you in. So I hope this video was useful and do subscribe, like and share my videos and um, stay tuned for more tips and uh, motivation for the CASC exam, uh, which I will be sharing. So do make sure that you subscribe so you can get updates. Um, there is still time to ace this exam and I'm going to take you right through the process, the key differences between the online CASC exam and the CASC exam, the face-to-face -face tips for the day and also uh, motivation and how to prepare for your exam. So it would be a good idea for you to subscribe and also watch all the other videos that are on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.